Hey there, fellas. So in the last episode where we covered this project, the block was ready, we installed the rotating assembly, we did a bit of machining, and now it's almost done. And though it's not totally transparent, but here's what I suggest we do. We need to get it to where we want it. Which means making it totally transparent, fully assembled, and ready to run. So let's do that, make it see-through, start it, and enjoy watching it run. Let's do this. Transparent Engine Project First Start Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian Check it out. We've been working on the block. This is quite an amazing piece, I mean, it barely weighs anything. And once we get some oil in there, it'll become even clearer. But then even like this it looks rather nice. You've got a good view of everything, it's nice and even. We've cleaned all of the associated parts, now we are going to be running rubber rings instead of conventional steel. We don't want the cylinder walls to immediately get ruined. And here we have an oil pump cover that we were also modifying to make it somewhat more transparent. Underneath it we're going to have the oil pump itself, and we should get a good view of it working, and of how much oil flow it can produce. Okay, well, we have got all of the required parts, we'll clean them to make them as transparent as they can possibly be, yeah, let's begin assembly, throw it all together, and then get to the interesting part, where we attempt to start it. Enough talk, let's carry on. Okay guys, so now we get to the interesting part. We have assembled the engine, mounted it on an improvised stand, and yeah, everything is in position, we're looking good. We've got a fuel supply going. We should be looking at 107% success. Now this doesn't have a starter motor, nor does it have a flywheel. The reason behind that being, well, liquid glass is obviously not going to be as durable as steel. And so instead, we'll be using a tried and tested method. We'll be starting it with the help of a power drill. Okay, well, this turns all right, but here's the thing. For the drill to get this going, it has to be a mighty drill. It's easy to turn with a tap wrench, 
With a drill, not so much. But in any case, we have got to try starting this bad boy. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah, that was so close. There was definitely a bit of combustion. Keep going. Yeah, that is quite a bit of load, look at that. <laughs> but something went wrong. Eh, no worries. We'll replace the starter and uh, keep trying. Check this out, guys. We are trying this again. On our first attempt, things didn't quite go the way we wanted. You would have obviously seen us break our power drill. The axis on that broke. And the important thing now is for this to fire up. I mean, we have put so much work into this, it has to start. We ready? Let her rip. Let her rip. What can I even say about this? A negative result is also a result. That was one hell of a bang. And now the whole thing is absolutely decimated. Well, there you have it, guys. This is a bit unfortunate, with how much effort this took. But the whole thing just blew to... smithereens. But, I mean, no worries. After all, everybody makes mistakes. And at the end of the day, this was a worthy attempt. It was all looking good until it wasn't. As always, something had to go wrong. Well, not as always, but this time we failed. Perhaps when we were fitting the plugs... Some vapor is accumulated, and maybe we should have taken it easy with a quick start. Also, we're not running a head gasket, meaning we had to do some tweaks here and there to the block, in the way of machining it. I mean, there is an entire list of things that could have contributed to this sort of outcome. So, we have a bunch of assumptions, but no definitive ideas as of right now. But hey, I mean, no big deal. We botched the first attempt, but okay. At least now we have some sort of understanding of how you're meant to go about this. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. Leave some comments, give us a like. This was a good one, and though we weren't 107% successful, we can at least call it a 60% success, right? Anyway, you saw it all for yourselves, where we got with this. Comment, give us a big thumbs up. 
Oh, right. Catch you later. Fuck okay.